Breaking news in the case against Casey Anthony. A date has just been set for her indigency hearing. Casey is now one step closer to getting the public money she's asking for to help in her defense. Orange County's clerk of courts has signed off on Anthony's statement of indigency, meaning she has no more money for legal costs in her death penalty case. She's broke. Western reporter Bob Keeling is live at the Orange County Courthouse with reaction. And Bob, what happens now? Yeah, Jim, we just learned this, that a week from tomorrow, Judge Strickland will hold this hearing to see if indeed Casey Anthony is broke, if indeed she should get tax money. The question is, how much will he make her reveal, if anything, beyond this one-page document she signed, and how publicly? West two cameras today caught up with Casey Anthony's attorney, Jose Baez, in front of the Orange County Courthouse, chatting with longtime criminal defense lawyer Cheney Mason. Baez later told us that Casey has already given full financial disclosure. There's also this form she filled out detailing how she has no money to mount her defense. Based on that statement, Clerk of Courts Lydia Gardner has found Casey to be indigent. It's the most vague and superficial affidavit you could possibly have. Before Casey qualifies for public funding, Orlando attorney Richard Hornsby says Judge Stan Strickland needs to probe much deeper than this one-page form. I've got to think that Judge Strickland's got to make Casey Anthony and Jose Baez make a full disclosure of how much she was paid, who brokered the deal, who managed the funds, where the funds have been sitting while Casey Anthony's been in jail. One concerned citizen has written a letter to Judge Strickland this week encouraging him not to grant Casey public money. Others we spoke with echoed that sentiment. Didn't sit well that she had the money, though, and spent it and gave it all to the lawyers and now expects us to pay for it. You have Casey Anthony, who's now a convicted fraud, who's claiming indigence and claiming that she somehow had $111,000 um, while she's been in jail. For now, the question remains, will Casey have to come clean in public about where she got the money she had before she can be entitled to public dollars in the future? And Hornsby tell us, tells us that he has gone through this process himself with this state agency, and he is convinced that the agency that administers these funds will require this sort of full disclosure in public before the public dollars start flowing. Have more at 6. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.